probably uh, the next time we actually see the next uh, leaders way out is probably going to be what, 2011? I would say, um, you know, I, I guess it all depends on, on, on you know, how this one goes. How the train rolls. <laughs> yeah, you know, if this if this one keeps on going, then, you know, we're just going to make sure to, to be there and, you know, be out there playing for the people and, you know, just uh, see as long as it, you know, as long as it's going, we'll be there, so. Are you guys going to get a chance to shoot a video for last year? We actually already did. Huh? We already did, yeah. Uh, before this tour even started, we, uh, we went out to L.A. for a couple days and shot the video and then um, flew back to Knoxville and then started the tour. So when uh, can the fans look forward to seeing this one? That is a good question. I do not know the answer to that. <laughs> I think uh, I think I think here pretty soon within the next couple of weeks they're they're uh, I think they're you know putting the finishing touches on it. I think we got a final edit I guess about a week ago, so I think they're just kind of deciding on what formats we want to kind of push it out on. So I remember when uh, I did the article on you guys back in July or June or whenever it was, and uh, literally I said their video for Invincibles coming out any day. And I posted the article the next morning, made it send me the link, so it came out. But oh, wow, that's <laughs> so timing right there. I'm telling you, so I had to go back in and add it. a precognition it. there. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, with all the stuff that's been going on with this tour, the popularity of Invincible, how the record's been doing everything, you have those moments where you're like on stage looking out of the crowd and just feel like this is surreal. And every night. Myself. Every night. Every night, man. It is. Uh, Except in Pittsburgh, right? You know, no, Pittsburgh wasn't bad. There's was a good sandwich shop around the corner from the venue. I remember that. We <laughs> but uh, no, every night, uh, you know, occasionally I'll have a chance to kind of pull out my phone and just kind of take a picture of the crowd. I've got a picture of the, the last time we played uh, Cincinnati. And uh, every once in a while I'll be going through my pictures and I look at that picture and I'm just like, gosh, I remember that. But uh, it's, it's... Were the breasts that nice? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a G-rated picture. Um, but... Uh, it's it's amazing, you know. Uh, we get ready to go. Like right before we go on stage, is the most excited. Is you know all the lights kind of come down, and it's just like, man, all right, we got five minutes and we're on. And I just kind of take a, take a peek out there and look at all the people just waiting. And it's just it's the best. And it's better than any drug you could ever take, you know. And when you're on a bill with four bands like this, uh, how many songs are you able to squeeze in? Well, on this tour, we uh, we squeeze in, I'd say seven. A good 30 minutes, but uh, you know, there's definitely not a not a whole lot of time to dilly dally yeah. there. You know, no, uh, Rick has to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to talk over the music. Yeah, yeah, it's a tight it's a tight ship, you know, because you know you don't want to run over because that that you know pretty much hinders all the other bands behind us. You know, you don't want to have them to cut any songs because of us being late. So we we try to just be on it, you know. And this is a fantastic lineup. I mean, you've got all four great bands. I think all four of them could be headlining, but. You've all, you all have a different vibe going. Yeah. I mean, Hailstorm's got sort of that classic 70s rock over the Yeah. Band, and you guys are more modern alternative rock, you know, and taking it on. They're just out there. They're just rock <laughs> <forward, laughs> <man. Exactly. laughs> And then, of course, Theory, you know, they've got their own vibe and everything. Yeah. Too, so it's a, an eclectic tour that all melds together really well, though. So I'm psyched that it, it, you guys managed to fit Idaho in. Um, in the, uh, in the, Adelina's Way camp right now. Yeah. Obviously, other than you know music, which you guys talk about all the time, what's the big topic of conversation? You guys spend shitload of time driving. So much time. Uh, well, we're big sports fans. You know, um, Rick and all the guys were we're all in the UFC. You know, he, he was gung ho last night about the fights last night. Um, guys, what else? Fantasy football, fantasy basketball. We're, Dude, you gotta go check out my site then. Oh yeah? Fantasyknuckleheads.com. Oh nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I'm not doing music. What is it just all sports or just uh, I originally started Fantasy Knuckleheads as football, but oh, cool. I merged with another one literally just a, a month ago and it's now like all the major sports, all the the big four. That's we may great. add other ones later, it's yeah. not finding writers, but so we're all gearing up for baseball now. I, I handle the football cool. stuff, so Baseball, football today, and then maybe fantasy curling tomorrow. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Fantasy NASCAR, fantasy fishing. That <coughs> yeah, maybe one of maybe what we'll do next year is when we get ready to do football, we'll get a fantasy football league going with some of the guys in the different bands. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> Count us in, man. Dude, we're down. Uh, so what's your team then? What's the way? That's a tough one. I, uh, I'm from Tennessee, right. So and I, and I went to school there. So I'm a huge Peyton Manning fan. And 
and uh, you know it's hard for me, especially when you play fantasy football. It's hard to just root on one team, right. you know, because I got so many different players on different teams. You know, you just kind of, I don't know, kind of rooting on one guy to do well. Or, exactly. So it's it's tough. I really don't have a team, but I mean, I guess if I had to pick, I like the Titans just because they're they're close by, and and I like the Colts because of Peyton Manning. But uh, so I'm happy the Saints won, though. Like I was, if there was any team that was gonna, gonna, you know, beat beat my Colts, you know, I was I was definitely happy they won, man. They, they definitely deserve. It. They really did. Keith, I want to thank you for taking oh, some dude. time to talk with us. Thanks for having me.